Hello, my reader friends. Welcome back to Storytime. Today, I have another story, which is called The Last Train on Halloween, written by Cindy Jennings, illustrated by Misha Chulinik. But before we get started, please subscribe for more fun videos. Now let's get started. Naomi threw a scared look the door behind them. There went the hissing sound again. <sighs> Did you hear that? She whispered to her classmate, Drew. He nodded in fear. Ew, is that goop? Eh! We should go investigate. Kim said. She was the adventurous one in the class. And at 12, she had started rock climbing. No, silly. It is Halloween. And terrible things happen during Halloween, Simon said. Everyone called him Scary Cat. But tonight, Naomi agreed with him. Entire class had gone on a class trip, which had ended in the afternoon. But a train delay made them head home at night. There had been a rush for tickets. Coach Master had recurrently squeezed the four children into the next to lost coach to the luggage. Don't go near the door, the old man had warned them with a scary look. The four of them were obedient and had no plan of venturing close to the door. However, since the journey began, Noises came from the back room. A hissing sound. A cackle that made their hairs on their skin rise. And a grating sound like someone was trying to be free. What if someone is kidnapped in there? We could be rewarded by the police. Kim suggested. No, Kim. The coach master warned us, Naomi said. She just wanted the train to arrive at the station so she could go trick-or-treating. Oh, Kim stubbornly moved to the door. The other children after her. Their hearts raced in fear and excitement. As Kim's hand wrapped around the door handle, she pushed it, and the door opened into darkness. Oh, God! Simon whispered behind Naomi. Do you see anything? Naomi jumped as lights flashed into the room. He was Kim's torchlight. Bounced across different angles of the room. The children looked at each other in surprise. It was completely empty. This is strange. An empty room when the coach master said the tray was filled? Drew asked. Naomi wondered. The same. She sighed. When Kim went deeper into the room, casting more light across the room, the walls were covered in faded wallpapers, covered in red spots. Is that? Ah! The children screamed, jumping into each other's arms. The room was flooded with bright light. The coachmaster glared at them, wearing a mean 
look. Did I tell you not to come into this room? The man snapped. Yes, you did. But, 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 but we heard a noise. Kim sputtered. Nonsense! You heard nothing. The man said. Kids, Miss Gordon, their class teacher, came to the rescue and shooed them in the front of the train. Had just arrived at the station. Woo! I'm sure glad we are home. Kim said as they stood on the platform. All the kids gathering around. Look! Naomi cried, painting, pointing at the train, which was going away. Her three friends followed her gaze, looking at them from the front window. In the dark room was a white face with a cruel smile. See, <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this fantastic story. See you later in another video. Bye, reader friends, and keep on reading.